if, if you had to surprise your dad, we're talking about Johnny Walker, Blue Label, date with dad. But if you have to surprise your dad um, at one such date on Father's Day, what would you do about it? My dad um, loves his whiskey and, um, um, you know, Johnny Walker is the apt uh, brand that has actually given us the opportunity to really uh, support this cause of date with dad. But the one thing I'd like to do while my, whilst my dad's having his drink is actually, uh, you know, we watch football games together and he's better than any football app that I have. So when the World Cup was going on in Brazil, he would actually call me and tell me what the score is if I was shooting in the night because I had night shoots and the games were at 9.30, 12.30 and 3.30 in Brazil. So he'd say, Chile is one up and this team is one down and you know. So we've shared some great moments but the one thing that I'd like to do, Baman, yeah. is I'd like to take my dad for a, for, a, for a live game somewhere in Europe. He's of course seen my team, Northeast United, play and he's enjoyed those matches thoroughly, but I'd like to take him for one of the international games so that he can enjoy that moment. They just were outside the Bernabeu Stadium, that's where Real Madrid plays, and they clicked a photograph and sent me. So I was just hoping that he could go and catch a game in there. You know, I, I can't tell you what you're saying moves me so much because I had gone to uh, Madrid with my son. It was my birthday time, so my wife sent my son just to give me company. I was doing some talk for corporate and uh, the next day we were walking around the streets and one of the executives came and said do you all enjoy football I said yeah why do you ask he says we've got box seats at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium wow. and uh, Real Madrid is playing before we knew it we were in a box watching this wonderful thing and my son and I it is a real dad son moment we were staring at each other's face while the game was going on because we couldn't believe that was actually happening wow. and, and you know it was such a wonderful moment I have to tell you uh, I believe those tickets are exorbitant, un unaffordable. Yeah. yeah, I went to a club in, um, in London recently, Arsenal, and uh, a ticket for two on a prized game when they play big teams like Manchester United and uh, a ticket for two with dinner is 20,000 pounds. 20,000 pounds? 20,000 pounds, that's, wow. that's two lakh rupees. I thank those people very much. You know, so it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of money for just two people to watch a game then people like me would wish that the game goes on forever because 20,000 pound abhi kharcha kiya hai, abhi khelo, aur khelo, you know. So, it's, a, it's, 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 I can understand how you must have felt. It was awesome. Really special. It is very, very special. Well, tell me, which is, what is the best piece of advice your father has ever shared with you? I think uh, my father's always emphasized on the quality of character and he says that um, you must always do good even when, um, when no one is watching. I'm going to stop you right yeah. there. John, you don't know about this, but I know this for a fact. I had visited someone in the hospital once, uh, maybe the same person, uh, who probably didn't know either of us, but he told me that you had been there. And very quietly, without anyone knowing, and John, nobody knows about this, is exactly what you just said. Your father said that you should do good when nobody is watching. And I know this for a fact, John. John went down to the cashier, the receptionist, and paid the entire bill of that patient. And I think that's completely awesome. That there was no press around. There was no need to even tweet about it or nothing. But that's what John Abraham is about. And Mr. Abraham, you should be very proud that he's following your word to, to the T. And you should be extremely yeah. proud. Yeah. Thank you.